Hi, my name is Megan McCaleb. I'm a physician assistant who works here at Mosaic Care with Dr. Heidi Wittenberg and Dr. Adam Bonington. You've likely seen me around the office. However, in the past few months, I've looked like this. So I'm really sorry, but I'm smiling underneath um, and I'm glad you can see my face today. So I wanted to talk to you briefly about dilating and your dilating schedule. Um, I had a conversation that was really interesting with a patient who's about nine months post-op and throughout the conversation, I started to realize that they had fallen off their dilating schedule because they started to view dilating as a chore. Chores are something that we don't like to do. Chores are something that we push off, we postpone doing. We've got so many other things on our list that it goes to the very bottom. And if you want to maintain your vaginal depth that you worked so, so hard to get and to keep so far, then dilating can't go to the bottom of your list. So when I was talking to this patient, we started to think about ways that we could reframe the way we think about dilating. So instead of trying to view it as a chore, maybe we could see it as a self-care activity. Self-care is something that we make time for or that we should make time for, especially now. Things are stressful. We're in the middle of COVID. What can we do to set time out of our week to do self-care? So if you're dilating once or twice a week, then let's say you set aside a half hour, maybe an hour. Dilate for the first 10 or 20 minutes. Then read a book, take a bath, have a glass of wine, something that you already associate with self-care, something that you already enjoy doing and try to marry those two activities. Because it's true, you did work really hard for this. You have put in a lot of, a lot of energy and time. So if we can, let's try to just reframe our thought process and say, this is for me. I'm doing this for me. And this isn't a chore. This is something I need to do. And this is something that I can hopefully see as something I want to do. So I hope that helps. Um, I know things are crazy. I know things are stressful, but let's do our very best. Okay.